In this video, we're interviewing Otis, who is the boxing coach of Jarvis. And if you want to check out the entire interview, check out the link in the description. And don't forget, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy. Now we're going to be talking a bit about uh, some of the talk between Jarvis and uh, Money Kicks and kind of first, like, have you kind of seen some of the potential fights with, uh, like, uh, the influencer Money Kicks and he's had kind of some controversy between some of his fights and do you have any kind of thoughts of him as a boxer and have you seen any of his fights or some abilities that he may have? I watched, I watched a couple of his fights on YouTube, <laughs> um, not impressed. I mean, he's just a, yeah. he's just what he is, a, a, a person that wants to be in the ring and, you know, he's throwing punches, but they're all wild. And, you know, I mean, I can see Jarvis being 2-0 and over two knockouts. Yeah. It's definitely a good matchup for Jarvis there, but it's interesting if that fight yeah, will get made. Definitely interesting as, matchup. I mean, the Showstar Boxing, who uh, has an event in a couple of weeks now in the U.K., right. Uh, right. The UK versus USA. They recently posted that they're willing to put on Jarvis versus Money Kicks for a charity event for like two hundred thousand dollars, but the event's in like three weeks. So do you think Jarvis would still like be prepared on a short camp? Well, it's in what? It's in March. Yeah, March fifth. I mean, I can have Jarvis ready in a week on it. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> Him and Money Kicks. He'll he'll be Money Kicks overnight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And how would you kind of see, like, a potential fight between Money Kicks and Jarvis playing out? And do you think, like, how would you say their boxing skills would compare at all if they do? From what I've seen on Money Kicks, there is no comparison to his boxing skills against Jarvis's. Uh, mm -hmm. Even though if his boxing skills plays into my – Jarvis has a different mindset when he, when he kicks in gear. But if you tell him to go ahead and kill, take the guy out, that he doesn't mind doing. Killer instinct, yeah. He can he can actually click the switch and go at a person. He yeah. knows he's gonna get hit doing it, but it's about when you get there, what they can handle of you. Yeah, we even saw that in, in his fight with Michael Lee. He was very had a big killer instinct and was going for the kill right from the start. Right. Because he said he wanted a second round knockout. I said, the only way you're gonna get it. You got to start now. So by doing that, we start warming up in the dressing room early. Mm -hmm. So instead of waiting until the third or fourth round, you're already in the third or fourth round when you go out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, with Money Kicks and Jarvis going back and forth on social media, and uh, do you think you think Money Kicks really wants to fight with Jarvis, but as, as he doesn't really seem to want it unless it's on his own turf where he kind of has control in his own event? So well, he feels as though it's He's living off the wealth of his dad, so yeah. he can make that he can make that call. If your dad's worth two billion, fine. If it's about the money, we'll come and beat your ass and get the money. But we don't care where we don't care where the fight is at. I mean, we know there's no A side or B side when it comes to winning. Yeah, do you think you know, you... people are always worried about whether they're the favorite or not favorite? Even if you're the favorite, you have people that don't favor you. Yeah, do you think uh, Money Kicks is just trying to build up his name in boxing by using Jarvis's name without really fighting him? Well, I'm very impressed that he, that he wants it to be against Jarvis. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, probably so. And if Jarvis is the one for people to build a name on, cool. You know, let's do it. But yeah, we'll get back. We have to get back together and you know continue moving forward. Yeah, and there was there's been like a ton of rumors with Money Kicks first. It was kind of initially with Jarvis and then Floyd met, uh, then with Floyd Mayweather, and that seems now to be scrapped. And kind of in your opinion, what do you think would have happened uh, in that kind of fire slash event, even though it's, it would have been like the biggest mismatch in boxing? It would be the biggest mismatch in boxing, and you couldn't take that kid and pour him on Floyd. You couldn't, you couldn't melt him down and pour him on Floyd. Even yeah. at 44 years of age, almost – Floyd is better than 99% of the people out there doing boxing, but mm -hmm. it's a compliment to Floyd that everyone wants to try and do what he's doing now. It's right. very complimentary, and I, I think we all take it and we enjoy it, but when Floyd does train, we train hard. Yeah, for sure.